Good morning everyone and welcome to a new video and a new season on the channel. It is Saturday the 1st of July 2023 and finally today we are getting the ball rolling with the uh, 2023 to 2024 campaign and for it we are heading up to Glasgow for Pollock FC versus Bonnie Rig Rose in a friendly. Now this has all the credentials to be a very good day indeed. Uh, personally Glasgow is one of my absolute favourite cities in the UK and uh, this most definitely has uh, the potential to be a very entertaining match so we'll uh, let's hope it lives up to that but let's get into this let's hand up to Glasgow we are back come on So just walking between uh, Glasgow Queen Street and Glasgow Central now and uh, going into this afternoon's friendly uh, Pollock finished in fifth place in the West of Scotland League last season while Bonnie Rig of course it was their first season in the SPFL uh, in the Scottish League too and uh, maybe didn't quite uh, match the same sort of standards that have been set by the likes of Cove Rangers and Kelly Hearts in previous years but they did manage to keep their heads above water in 8th place and uh, I think this is going to be a pretty good test for them this afternoon actually because uh, you look at it in the past uh, non-league teams in Scotland do have something of a knack for beating their SPFL counterparts of course the most notable one last season will have been when uh, Darvel beat Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup but Pollock uh, pulled off a bit of a cup upset themselves uh, winning 4-3 against Annan Athletics so uh, yeah they'll definitely prove a good test for Bonnie Rick this afternoon I mean personally I don't think there'll be a great deal in it in terms of the scoreline but uh, at the end of the day it's, it's a friendly it's, it's, it's about fitness so uh, I think the main thing last year's pre-season taught us is that uh, you shouldn't read into the results too much if at, if at all so uh, for me as long as it's a good game and I enjoy my time at the ground then uh, that is the, the then that is, is, is that then that's the the win for me uh, as far as I'm Concerns. So uh, yeah, uh, let's get the train to Pollock Shores. Then head, let's head to Newlandsfield Park to find out how my first game of the 2023 to 24 season will unfold. So here we are then, Pollock FC, the new one off the list. Let's go in and get this season started. So, with the first game, of course, come the first point, and uh, tell you what, Pollock are 
already getting quite a few approval points because this bar is just absolutely exceptional honestly like it's absolutely immense facility i've got to say it. um like a lot better than what i was expecting for sure uh, i mean i was expecting good things but i uh, didn't think it'd be this good i must say and we're just in a bar i've not even been into the actual ground yet uh, but uh, nevertheless i've gone for a mena brea uh, this is the first time i've ever tried this actually so uh, let's give it a whirl Tell so you what, that is not bad at all. So, uh, good start to the day here. Um, I'm going to enjoy this, then uh, we'll head out into the ground. So, Pollock are warming up. I'm assuming they're going to be in their traditional black and white this afternoon. They're uh, still waiting on Bonnie Rig, and as I speak, there they are, the, I imagine are going to be in their traditional red and white. Anyway, I will see you when the players are out on a pitch proper and ready to start the match. So here come the teams. Number three, Neil Martin. Number four, Ken Young. Number eight, Johnny Stewart. Number ten, Lee Curry. Let's start that sport! And the new season is underway. And Bonnie Rick get the first goal of my new season. Oh, I've got to say that is incredibly soft. Well, you could say maybe a bit of justice done there. I didn't, personally don't think it was a penalty, so. But the danger's not clear yet. Goalkeepers on the blinder. Get a minute if anything. Oh. Oh. It's pretty either side of them, really. Half time, Pollock nil, Bunny Rig Rose won. Uh, for a friendly, it's actually been a really good game. Uh, I'd say for the most part, uh, Bunny Rig have been in control, but uh, 
To be fair, Pollock would have certainly had the chances, I think, in terms of players out there on the pitch. I think the standout so far has to be the number the 24. Uh, Bonnie Riggie's uh, got in behind the Pollock defence a couple of times, obviously, that's how yeah. his goal came about. He had one there uh, chalked off for offside uh, just before half time. In terms of the penalty, uh, personally, I do think he made a bit of a meal of it, but. Uh, Fair play to Ben Fry, the Pollock keeper. He uh, managed to save it, and he's had a really good game so far. Actually, yeah, he's uh, I'd say he's uh, kept them in it. But uh, yeah, as I say, uh, really entertaining for a friendly so far. It'll be interesting to see what sort of approach each team takes in this uh, second half. If they'll opt to uh, change their entire eleven at half time, or if they'll make changes as the second half goes on. So. Uh, yeah, uh, good game this. Again, debatable, but he's given it. Top now. Full-time Pollock 1, Bonnery Grows 2. I uh, think over the balance of play, a draw probably would have been a fair result. But uh, I think overall both teams will be pretty happy with the workout that they've got there. And that's what it's mainly about at this stage. Uh, is the result really that important uh, to some people potentially? But uh, in the grand scheme of of it, uh, like it is just about... Uh, getting your fitness levels up, uh, trying out different passages of play and uh, what I must say is that uh, for a pre-season friendly it was a very good game of football. I think a lot of time with these games uh, you seem to find that um, you might get towards the last 15-20 minutes and 
like, like the teams might just decide just to knock the ball up, not knock the ball about, uh, call a truce on on the scoreline, uh, depending on what it is at the time. But uh, you never got that today, and uh, as it is, uh, Bonnie Rigg managed to uh, find a winner towards the end of the game. But uh, said before the game that uh, Pollock would provide a good test for them, and that is exactly what they did. Um, so I have to say I really enjoyed that today. It was a really nice setup that they've got at Pollock. Uh, it was a good game of football, as I've mentioned. So overall, you'd have to say that the day has been a success. Um, but anyway, that is that for this video. And I'll be back on Tuesday night. And the heat of back is Hebben Town versus Gateshead. So uh, looking forward to seeing how we're taking shape. Looking forward to seeing the new signs and what have you. Uh, it's going to be a good night. So until then, take care. Cheers for watching. See you later.